Welcome back to the Readiness Channel, everyone. Today we're going to make some biscuits and sausage gravy in a cast iron Dutch oven over coals. This is going to be a occasional video series that we do called Prep and Cook, and it's meant to highlight using alternative cooking methods that you might have to resort to in an emergency or grid down situation. Besides that, it's just plain good and it's a lot of fun to do. Okay, for our little exercise that we're doing today, we're in an emergency situation. The power's down, gas is off, there's no way to cook uh, in our kitchen at our home. Um, think about our fellow countrymen in Texas just a few uh, days or weeks ago, and, and it's not hard uh, to reach to see that we can all be in a very uh, trying situation at any given time. Just remember to keep your working pantry well stocked so that you can make things like this in a pinch. Just simple ingredients like flour, baking powder, salt, sugar, uh, a butter powder or even canned butter around. And you can even buy freeze dried sausage crumbles that would uh, really make this doable in just about any scenario. Okay, we've got about three cups of flour, a uh, heaping tablespoon of baking uh, powder, and some salt and sugar. I've chilled this butter, and now I'm just going to fold this in here uh, by using this method here. That'll already break it up into the chunks that we want. We don't want to overwork this dough because that'll make a tough biscuit. Okay, I folded in, or we shredded, I should say, a stick and a half of butter. And now let's just make us a little well here, and we'll start adding some of this milk in here. We don't want to work too fast with this kind of a thing. We want to just slowly mix this. This is a rough recipe that I'm following here, and the ingredients you'll have to just feel and kind of work with as you go. And now we're going to grease up our Dutch oven here with some butter. I preheated this just a little bit so that we can get a start on what we need to do here. Roll our dough out to about a half inch, three quarter of an inch thickness. And then we're just going to take this little tool and we're going to cut out some biscuits. You can use uh, a, an old can, all kinds of different things. It doesn't have to be uh, a special tool to make a biscuit. Once you get them cut out, we're going to come over here and we're going to throw them in our pan fairly tight. I think I might even go ahead and try to squeeze in maybe another half a biscuit or so in here just to see. Uh, I don't know how that will turn out, but I want this to be fairly close in here so that we get soft sides on the biscuit, not browning around the whole, the whole biscuit. Okay, now I'm just taking some coals and I'm going to place them around uh, our little trivet here that we made. The idea here is to heat up the Dutch oven with this ring around here, but we don't want to get it too hot too fast. We're also going to place some coals on the top. So it's better to have this heat pulled out a little bit down here to begin with. And if we need more heat, when we check our biscuits as we're cooking, I can always push that in. And we're going to put our biscuits on the fire for the top. I'll just place some uh, coals around the outer circumference here to begin with. Maybe just enough to kind of work this diameter to start. We can always add more heat, but it's, it's harder to deal with it if you put too much on too fast and the problems that are going to come from that. Okay, now we'll check our time and in about six to eight minutes, we'll check our biscuits and see how they're coming along. Okay, what we wanna do now with our Dutch oven is we wanna rotate the bottom of it one direction and reposition it on there. And then I'm gonna take the lid and I'm gonna reposition it a little bit the other way. This will help even out the cooking if we have any hot spots uh, from our coals.
I'm going to call that done. Okay, our sausage is browned up a little bit here, and now I'm just going to add some flour to the pan, and we're going to cook that up a little bit with some of that sausage grease, and that'll cook some of the flour taste out of it as well. Okay, now we're just going to slowly start adding some milk to this, and you'll see the flour that's in there start thickening up with the liquid that we're putting in there. And let's not forget the most important ingredient in any good B&G, and that's a lot of black pepper. And there it is, delicious sausage gravy on a fresh baked biscuit. I like a little bit of Tabasco on mine. And there you go. That's some Pioneer Cowboy Prepper Gold right there. Let's give this a whirl. Give this a try. And speaking of gold, this blackberry jam right here that we make every year, it's made out of uh, boysenberry, blackberry, and blueberry that we grow right here uh, in our yard. This stuff is absolutely delicious. And we're gonna do a video on how to make this later in the season once we start harvesting this year's crop. Uh, hit the subscribe button down below if you don't wanna miss that video. This stuff is gold in a jar. And speaking of which, now that we have some fresh biscuits made from our Dutch oven, I'm going to take a little butter. And I'll tell you what, this is probably one of my favorite things right here. Got a fresh hot biscuit off the fire. We'll put a little bit of this blackberry, boysenberry, blueberry jam on there. And I'll tell you what, right there, you've got a meal fit for a king. Mm. Good. We covered a working pantry in a prior video pretty extensively, and I'm going to provide a link for that down below in the comment section so you can go back and watch that if you missed it. Um, also remember that you can change up these ingredients to make different recipes, especially if you were in a SHTF situation, and I guarantee you, you wouldn't worry about whether or not you had sausage or not. Any meat would do. Remember, I know a lot of you uh, recall SOS, uh, anybody that's from the military or from a military family certainly knows what that is. And that would be making this recipe that we're going to make today, uh, but using ground beef instead of sausage. So don't, don't get too hung up on recipes. Just make sure you have enough ingredients around that you could eat and make some, something uh, delicious to eat when, when it counts. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. Today's video was about plan, prepare, and practice. We talk about it all the time on this channel, and I think that's an important model to follow. Put together an emergency response plan in your home. Get, get loaded in your grapes and things that you're gonna do and how you're going to survive different scenarios should they occur. Um, acquire some tools, ingredients, and equipment so that you're getting prepared, and then practice. Get out and use these things and, and develop skills and a comfort level so that you're able to get the job done when it counts. Uh, getting yourself unscrewed during an emergency is not the time to be doing that. You wanna practice and get squared away now so that when that time comes, you have some skills and some comfort level to take care of you and your family. Hit the subscribe and like button down below. Those things help us out with the channel. And as always, get ready so that you and your family can succeed and thrive.